Hi everyone, it's Jen. Welcome to Bumblebee Crafts and it's Slow Stitch Sunday today. So some more mindful stitching that we're going to be doing with our little Christmas panels that um, we've been making for the last um, week or two. Um, so I've done some stitching off camera. Um, I managed to do some stitching and start a second one as well. Um, but today I want to add the final um, touches to this first green one. So I'm just going to pop my candle up on the other bit of my desk there. Um, I'm going to be using this lovely green and I've already threaded my needle. Um, so you haven't got to watch me struggle to do that. So um, if I just hold this up to the camera, what I've gone ahead and done, um, I really liked how this red, green, red, green looked. So when I was doing this one, I did two green, one red um, all the way down. And then on this one, I did um, three green, one red um, all the way along there. And then on this, all we've done is we've just added the little French knots um, for the berries on the holly. So I think that adds some really nice background texture um, doing those little stitches like that. So now I just want to put the lace on here today and add these little bits on. So I, as I said, I've got my needle threaded already. And I think we're just going to go and start and do a stitch all along the edge here um, to stitch the um, lace together. So if I come behind these ones so that I can hide my knot like so and then I think I'm just going to do a straight little stitch just to um, join it together make sure I'm not catching on things. I've got pins and stuff in this so I really don't want to catch too much. There we go. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Can't believe we are the 1st of December. It's absolutely crazy how quickly this year has gone. It really is. Yeah, this cotton that is actually blending in really nicely, which is why I um, wanted to do that, because I didn't want any stitching to stand out on the lace. So I've got quite a long bit of thread, really, in all honesty, but I don't want to have to keep threading my needle. <laughs> so we can take that one out now. glass of water next to me and that nearly went off the table. Clumsy morning this morning. Okay, I'm going to take that one off there. And we'll just get this one finished off. So we've gone all the way down the side. I think I want to do the same all the way along this bit here next. So I'm just going to come across the bottom like that. And then we're going to do the same come up this side. Now I'm going to 
just move that out of my way and stitch all along here because um, I think I want to go around these with some blanket stitch. So I'm just going to go under. Oops. Stab my finger. It wouldn't be a. Let's just move that out of the way actually. Otherwise, Klutz here is going to stab herself even more. There we go. You can see the stitching along there now. Okay. Just gonna do a stitch across here just so that that doesn't fray okay so that's that all nicely on there okay so let's hide our the back's looking really quite nice as well look at all that it's uh, quite quite neat this time I'm really pleased with this so I'm just going to do what I normally do and Tuck the thread behind, like so. Make sure we there we go. And we can cut this bit off now. Re knot it because I'm going to use the same colour to um attach the uh, little image of the deer okay so where were we this was going to go did it go in there oh yeah it was going to go back there okay So when I want to hide my knot with these, what I tend to do is like I've got several layers of material here, I'll try and see if I can pull them apart and then just pop that straight down behind it. And if you can see, I'm pulling it right through there so the knot is hidden. And you won't see that with that on there. Okay, so we will come up. In this corner that's not too bad now I've got to remember how to do the um, the stitches now haven't I I don't know what it is but I always struggle to start a bit off is that it yeah I've got it excellent Round. Yeah, I think this is going to look nice in a blanket stitch. I surprised myself there with uh, starting it off like that. Okay. <laughs> Normally I'm like, which way do I go? Which way do I do? Okay. Mm, this is coming along nicely. I, really, I do like a blanket stitch. Um, it's what I used all the way round on here, um, on the edges. It just finishes it off lovely. Like 
that and I think um, French knots um, are my favourite that I've learned so far. There's loads of stitches that I want to have a play with. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do like those, using those. Threads. Okay. I reckon we can take that pin out now. Put that back in my little pin cushion I made. I've got to remember to do it this way round. Sorry, I keep pulling it closer to me and going off camera there, don't I? I do like how it goes around the corners as well. pull the uh, thread out if I'm not careful and unthread my needle and you guys know how much I struggle to thread my needle but I found something out the other day about looking to see you know how to practice uh, threading your needle and the, ma the main method they do say is to pinch the thread between your fingers and then push it down um, but I've, I also see a tip that someone uses, um, especially when it's stranded cotton. Um, they will use um, there we go. They will use um, a bit of beeswax um or soy wax if you're um, vegan um and just pull the end through the wax um so that it stops it being so fluffy so i have ordered myself um a little dressmaker's um thing that's got wax in it that you can just run your thread through so i'm hoping that that is going to help um me thread um the needle better Not sure. I don't really want to have to re-thread my needle just for a short little bit here. I'm hoping I can get all the way round. I've just got this little bottom bit to go. might be able to do it. Mm. 
And yep, I reckon we will be able to one there and then one here and then I can hopefully have enough to go down there to stop that one coming out and then we will tuck this behind. There we go, look at that, just enough thread. Perfect. Okay. So that is that. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? These threads keep frame. It will be sealed all the way around the edge with a blanket stitch um, once I put some um, quilters wadding in between and um, then find the backing. But I love how that has come together. really do let's have a look at our time all right 16 minutes i'm going to go ahead and do these two and then i'll be back get some quarters wadding and we can finish this one off i think so i'm just going to do exactly the same just do a little running stitch down there to hold that and then a blanket stitch around i'm going to do that on there and then i'm going to do that on this one and then i'll be back hello again so i've done all the stitching put all those down doesn't that look lovely absolutely love that um, I still think I wouldn't mind a little word on here um, but I haven't done my um, stamping yet onto um, fabric so um, yeah I I will do that at a later stage I think anyway I've cut I'm actually going to put two pieces of the wadding in between and I've got a piece of backing material um, so it's just a case now of putting the two together and then I think that's just going to feel so lovely in the hand okay so let's clip my edges together Just going to do a clip in the middle there, and then I'm going to do the same with this edge. And then lastly, and put those two together and that's going to make that really really puffy and nice okay so my needle is already threaded and I'm just going to hide it in the middle like so and then I'm going to come up and start doing a um, blanket stitch all the way round. To join the two together. Sorry, I'm probably off camera there.
must be because it's trying to go through the fibres as well, but it's uh, not wanting to uh, pull through neatly. Need that on there now. Oops. Not too bad again, look. Smudged it completely there, that's not going to pull through. Oh, I've got myself in a bit of a muddle here, haven't I? Mm. Right, just bear with me while I sort myself out. Hello, so I've got myself sorted out. I've got myself in a bit of a knot with the thread, but uh, that's fine. It came undone, I didn't have to redo the thread. So I'm just carrying on, going round the edge with my blanket stitch. Trying not to put it too tight. Oh, I'll it this way. I don't think I hooked up, look. <laughs> I'm not doing it now. What's going on? Oh, I see. We've somehow gone through a little thread. Look at that. Okay, so we still need to go through this because I come out. There we go. There's always something in there. <laughs> oh, dear. My hands are getting tired. I've been at this for a little while now, so uh, that will be why. Just really want to get this finished.
Oh no, my thread has come undone. Okay, I think at that point here I'm going to stop and I'm going to finish going all the way around off camera here. I'm making too many mistakes. Um, but you get the idea of how it's going to look all puffed up. I'm even tempted actually to put a little bit more stuffing in there so it's really nice and puffy. I quite like that. So yeah, I'm going to finish this one um, and then when we come back next week, hopefully I will have got... Um, where are we? We've got the four, haven't we? Hopefully I'll be much further along um, with the others and we can get them all finished off. So thank you very much for tuning in to a Slow Stitch Sunday. I hope it's inspired you to do some stitching um, and create some fun um, little slow stitch pieces. And I will be back um, next week with some more crafting adventures. Happy crafting everyone. Take care. Bye.